Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So as promised, I am going in and I'm showing you all how to do an ombre on a short nail. And whenever you're doing short nails, I recommend you kind of stick with square. Um, just because it's really hard to shape any other nail, especially at this length when you have someone who has like their nails at an active length, like if they're a nurse or something like that. But what we're doing is we're just uh, taking our white and we're going to build our white up um, and pretty much we're just kind of going to make sure the white is further towards the cuticle area than what it would be if we were doing a longer nail. And this. Also, the key to doing an ombre or even an ombre on a shorter nail is that you don't want to make the nail really thick. Um, even after your encapsulation, your nail should be fairly thin. And you don't really have to build an apex per se um, on a shorter nail as well because the nail is short it, it really should you kind of should like look at it as if it's an overlay and a lot of times that's what I kind of recommend you do is overlay or maybe form out a free edge a little bit um, but yeah and so now you see me taking the cover color that we're using and I'm just building that up towards the back and then you'll see me go in with another bead um, right near right there at the cuticle area I'm just going to build that out and I'm sorry that the camera is out of frame, so. Okay, and then as you can see with this bead, I set it right down there in the middle. And then I'm also taking the edge of the bead and brushing it down, so that way, with the ombre, you're almost wanting to do like a very sheer coat over the white and just brush it down towards the free edge because that is really what gives your um, nail that sort of ombre look or effect. And then right here, I'm just going in with the clear and I'm just um, capping the nail. Also, a lot of times when I'm clear capping on a shorter nail, I only use one large bead because you don't need several beads to end cap a nail. But as you can see here, I had a nice thickness so that way when it came time to file down the product and to shape the nail, I had enough wiggle room. And so this is what the nail looks like after being shaped. And then you'll see me putting on the gloss. But yeah, so like I said, the ombre looks really nice and seamless, and then you'll also see like the thickness and all of that, the curvature is there, the nail looks really nice, and it's um, very structurally sound. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!